Welcome back to Elsinore. At the end of the last episode, we agreed to get married to Hamlet. That should be interesting. I don't think we're actually going to get married, though. Because in... Mm, in about an hour, Hamlet is going to prepare to ride against the nobility, which I really feel like is going to result in their death. Plus, it's the last day, Sunday, so, you know. But we'll see where the whole thing leads. So we have the Hamlet prepares to ride against the nobility thing, and then we also have the Brit is lingering in town. I think that's to meet with um, Lord, Lord, Prince, Prince Fortinbras. So I guess I'll do the Hamlet thing first and then go to the Brit thing, because the Brit thing lasts longer. Yeah, where are you preparing? The courtyard. Let's go. By the way, I discovered something. Something completely pointless, but kind of... Interesting. Hamlet, why are you going back in that direction? You just came from the graveyard. It's weird. Anyway, I just discovered something completely inconsequential. I did not realize up until this point that you can actually control the character using WASD. I never tried that because it's a weird way to control a character in this sort of a game. But you can. It looks like this. It's weird. Just... Use the mouse. This is much smoother. Hold it down to just have have Ophelia just follow wherever the mouse is pointed, or you can just do a single click and they'll go there. Bernardo. Give the ready signal. Our dispatch will ride ahead shortly. Yes, my lord. All is at attention here. Marcellus, are the men in town ready to move forth? Aye. All that I... can see? Oh, all that I can see? It's weird, because they wrote the accent for Marcellus into the text. That's always weird to me. Let's go. Hamlet? Where are you going? Ophelia? Wait, Hamlet didn't know that I knew about this? I'm leaving to visit the countryside. I didn't anticipate we'd go so soon, of course. Wait! Are you sure this is wise? It is what's best. We intend to make a small show of force to shake the nobility. Yeah, that's not gonna go so well. Nothing extreme. Hamlet will be in the care of the best men I can offer him. Marcellus and I will be staying behind to maintain security at home while Hamlet is away. And what if he doesn't return? I have full faith in Bernardo on this matter. I was given some advice I now believe in. Force is all these noblemen will listen to. I must be the one bearing the whip. I need you to trust me. All will be well, and I'll be back home soon, safe and sound. You needn't worry. So be it, then. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Have a little faith in me, Ophelia. Thanks for arranging all of this, Bernardo. Of course, my lord. Anything. Right, well, Hamlet's dead. Alright, what now? Brit is lingering in town. And Castle Town's streets. Oh. Oh, right. Outside of the castle. I still can't leave yet, though, right? Can I? Ah, <sighs> no, fuck. Maybe if I knew what they were getting up to in the evenings. Didn't I already do that as far as I can? Like, what? I mean, obviously I'm going to miss the event no matter what. But what else can I do with that event? I thought I already talked to everybody about it. Did I not? Let's go speak with Bernardo and Marcellus again, just to be sure. It's been a while since I played, by the way, so I forgot some of the things I did last episode. Yeah, I can't talk about it here. Horatio? Guards are acting. Uh, guards are acting strangely. Horatio. 
Do you know why the guards would believe they were on thin ice with Bernardo? What? Again? Irma's reignited their little gambling circle. Against Bernardo's wishes, naturally. Uh... It's impossible to sleep in the guardhouse on the nights they do it. I've had to curl up in the stables more often than I'd like to admit. You'd think they'd develop a modicum of discretion about it, but sadly, that's not their forte. I see. Fascinating. Yeah, so they didn't actually do anything, right? Can I now? Can I talk to Bernardo about it again? Hmm. <laughs> no, but let's mention that I know that Fortinbras is going to invade. Bernardo. I know for certain that Lord Fortinbras is going to invade, violating the peace treaty. My lady. It's as if you're trying to have me deposed from my post. Listen. Fortinbras has told the king he intends to pass through Denmark on his way to attack Poland, right? Isn't there a distinct possibility he's lying to us and intends to take Elsinore? After all, his father was killed by King Hamlet. Yes. There is that possibility. Uh, but Ophelia, we live in a time of constant war. That's always a possibility. Right now, Denmark needs allies. And Fortinbras is offering us that chance. Unless there's some compelling evidence to show otherwise, we must trust him. Have you found some trusted witness willing to confess everything they know? No, not yet, because I can't get out of the fucking castle because your fucking guard keeps stopping me. Alright. Goodbye. Till then, step outside and enjoy the sunlight a little more. Oh, shut up. We're all gonna die soon anyway. What now? Just wait for death? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else on the timeline. I guess, go to the courtyard and see if an event pops up. Oh! oh. I saw something on the walls again, was that? What time is it? Yeah, it's like three or so. I think that was the ghost again, popping up for just a split second. Keep forgetting about them. I'll get them next loop. Good job watering the flowers, Kistler. We're all gonna die. What now? Are we dead yet? Gildenstern? Ophelia. What's wrong? Uh... Nothing. Rosie and I are leaving the castle is all. We found Elsinore a most chilly welcome. Totally unsatisfying. Patently without class, poise, or even good wine. Which would be alright if the people were attractive. But they aren't. <laughs> well, except for you. And I suppose Hamlet and Horatio? <laughs> Certainly Horatio is a handsome man. Hmm. Bernardo? Yes. Yes, yes, we've debated this. Bernardo looks wonderful in everything. But I'm confident neither of them like women. Yeah, they are pretty super, super gay. Horatio is definitely in love with Hamlet. And I'm pretty sure Bernardo's in love with Marcellus. Um... Lady Britt. Oh. <laughs> with that attitude? Ugh. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, ugh, indeed. What she means to say is we'll be departing shortly forevermore. And we wanted to bid you farewell. Farewell. So farewell, dear Sophilia, you sweet angel of social manipulation. <laughs> Goodbye. Happiest of trails to you. Um... That is, unless... You wanted to come with us. <laughs> what a fascinating idea. You see, Guild has taken quite the shine to you. You're already color complimentary to the two of us, as trios go. Well, I uh, was in the middle of something rather important. More important than us? Unlikely. Come now. Put that aside and live a little. Ophelia? 
back by the pond. You told me that time is repeating for you. So simply come back and try it all again. Why don't you? You've got forever after all. But this is our only lifetime. Hell yeah! I'll leave with him. Let's go. She has a point. All of this, everything has been so dire. Let's go. Maybe it's time I relaxed a moment. Yeah! That's the spirit. Let's be off then, shall we? We spent a long night cavorting and drinking at the pub in town. By the time the invasion inevitably swept through, we were all too inebriated to care. So I guess... <laughs> I guess the implication there is that they just killed us while we were drunk off our asses. Well, that's a happy end, I guess. Anyway, let's try that all again. Back at the beginning again. <sighs> what? So, on this loop through... I don't know, what the hell do I want to do on this loop through? Well, I definitely want to be at the wall. I think every night. I want to speak with a ghost every night. See if there's anything new to say every night, or if it's just yet another opportunity to say the same things again and again. Hmm. I want to figure out how to follow Lady Brit out, but basically how to make the guards not stop me. Let's look through our leads and see what I think I might need to do for each of these. So for the Prince Fortinbras threat, I need clear evidence that they are a threat. For that, I think I need Brit. For Brit, I need to do all the things to get me in their good graces, I think. Right? Do I still need to do that, actually, since I've kind of finished that? Now that it's finished, it just says she said she plans to head to Castletown Bar. If I can catch her there, perhaps after we'll finally be able to talk. Maybe now that that's finished, that's just finished for good, and I don't have to do it again, I guess. That'd be very convenient. So, yeah, I need to deal with the guards, try to figure out that whole thing so I can deal with Prince Fortinbras' threat. The Ashen Notes. I don't know. Let our father die, perhaps? I guess? I don't know. I don't remember if our father dies before or after burning the notes. But maybe I'll just let him die. And see if it works. Claudia's coming undone. Mm, so this is the whole timeline where Queen Gertrude is dead. And we go with Claudius. Um, I don't remember what happened. Like, we spent the night with him that one time. And then afterwards, I don't know, some stuff happened. We never spent another night with them. We didn't see that go any further. If I wanted to pursue that, Gertrude would need to die. And for Gertrude to die... Hmm, well, there's a couple ways to do it, I guess. One way is to stop Polonius from going into the discussion between Hamlet and, and Gertrude. If Polonius isn't there, then Hamlet and Gertrude kill each other. But then, but then if Polonius is alive, I'm certain that the notes will be burned, so I can't do everything at one time. L let's forget this for now. Yeah, let's have our father die. Let's forget that for now. Try to get the notes. Because I haven't made any progress on this quest at all. A lot of these have multiple steps done. This one has one step done. <laughs> the Playmaster. Hmm. The spirit must be connected. I'm not exactly sure what I need to do for this. Something to do with quince and the flow of time and the spirit and... Um, I think I just need to talk with the spirit on the wall. Some more. The prince's ambitions. For this... I think I need to do everything I did before. Hamlet asked me to bury him, but then just not leave with the ladies, I guess. <laughs> Although, Hamlet's just going to end up being dead, so I don't know if that's going to go anywhere. Maybe I need Fortinbras to be dealt with, and then this to happen? Hmm. So to summarize, 
For the Playmaster, I want to go on the wall every night to meet the ghost. For the Lost Notes Now Ash, I want my father to die on the first day and see if that saves the notes. And for the Prince Fortinbra threat, I want to see how to deal with the guard so I can get outside and and meet with Brit. That sounds good. So, if we just skip through this whole thing, blah blah blah. I'm not going to tell you anything, I don't care. Um, if I just try to like follow Lady Brit right now, will they go? Like they're not going anywhere. Can I even, is it even possible for me to try to leave right now? Like can I even start that quest about the guards acting weird? Hmm. Yes. Well, I guess I guess I didn't start anything, did I? Oh, hey, ladies. Yeah, I didn't start anything. I guess I always could have asked about why are the guards acting weird. Because that's permanently in my list of hearsay. So yeah, let's go mention like Bernardo again. Like maybe I just did the quest too late before. So that's why it was never solved because there wasn't time for any of the events to happen. Maybe if I mention it now. Wait, what is this? Have I ever seen this? Getting something from one of the other guards. The Norwegian prince accepted our peace offer. This should be wonderful news for Denmark. Still, something in me feels unsettled. I think the time may be ripe to tell the court about our suspicions regarding a spy in our midst. It's time to start spreading awareness so everyone can keep an eye out. I'll do so this morning. Hmm. So I could interrupt this. Before anybody else knows that Fortinbra plans to cross Denmark. That could be a good time to present my evidence. Right at the very beginning. Anyway, let's not worry about that for now. What's up with the guards? Uh, where is it? Oh, it's the very first one. Bernardo. Hmm. Nothing, of course. Some incidents with gambling. Hmm. You certainly ain't, isn't going on any longer. Uh. I'll handle this with swift and merciless justice. Is there a future event? Yes. Okay, now maybe that has time to actually happen. Yeah, it's going to be Thursday night. Okay. Good, good. Um, I don't know if there's any point in telling anybody else. Probably not. I, th I think that'll deal with it. It's going to be interesting going outside of this town for the first time. That's going to be a whole new zone. I imagine it's not going to be very big, but still... That'll be very interesting. I haven't seen a new place in so long. Only new dialogue. Okay. For now. I mean, I guess I just need to wait now, right? Like, I want to be on the wall for the night time. I want to meet up with the guards to see that. I don't really care about anything else. Yeah. Let's just go, um... Oh, not that. Let's go for this, and then right after this event, we'll go to the walls. Oh, we're gonna have to wait a while, aren't we? A million events happening, and I don't care about any of them. Almost there? Yes. <laughs> All right. Prepare yourselves for Irma House rules, peasants. No complaining, no shortchanging. Of course. And I'll watch the pot, of course. And what's to stop you from sneaking off with the coin? 
The fact that I'm a man of my damn honor, that's what. Is the honor part what makes your fingers so sticky? <laughs> Enough racket. Do you want Bernardo to hear you shouting and come running? No, I shall deal. Tonight we play Primario, or Primero. I tire of rough and honors. We play it far too often. How about a little wine while you play, gents? We... we're not supposed to. The last time we drank before our shift, I ended up under the table. Bernardo caught me and made me run 30 laps. And I ended up in the bushes, and he made me clean all of his clothing by hand. Even his undergarments. Enough ninion about. Let's play. You, drink. Now then. I've seen quite enough. Ophelia. How long she been hiding in... I mean, my lady. We weren't doing no harm. <laughs> this looks awfully covert for a group who are operating above board. <sighs> Just give it to her. Whatever she needs, I can't run laps again like last time. My legs won't last another mile like that. I'll meet an early grave if I too must run laps again. That bastard. My lady, if you keep this quiet, I swear, I'll go against your father's orders. I'll let you into Castletown. Just meet me at the gates. Any time, my lady, I promise it. Yes. Enjoy the rest of your card game, then. Cygnus, I'll see you at the castle gates. Marcellus. Ophelia told me you'd be here, but I didn't believe it. <gasps> Guard captain. If you have time to gamble, surely you have time to train harder. Need I remind you we are all at war? Swiftly now. Laps. Now. Put the cards down and get running. Yes, sir. You can't. You can't make me run. I'm not under your command. Really? You've been arranging games like this for months. I know where all your earnings are kept. If you'd like me not to confiscate those, I suggest you spend less time mired in vice like a two-copper tavern wench and more time serving your ladyship. Now go. <sighs> You're a tyrant. <laughs> <sighs> Bernardo's like SMH. Honestly, I'm too lax on them. Where did I go wrong, Ophelia? Was it the drills? Was I too hard on them? Are they acting out in spite? I gave them everything. They just don't appreciate me. <laughs> Some fresh air and exercise never hurt anyone. I'm sure they'll forgive you. Okay. They said any time, so... Um... I'm supposed to catch Lady Brit outside the town talking with, like, Prince Fortinbra or something like that. How do I make that happen? I think before what I did to learn about exactly when the event was happening was eavesdrop on Lady Brit when they were talking with Prince Fortin brought the dock. Do I need to be there for that? Oh, uh, what time is it? Or is there anything else going on? Is our father... Where's our father? They're still at the grave, so they're not dead yet. They haven't been killed yet. Um, hmm. If they haven't been killed yet, then they've probably already burned the notes, right? Anyway, let's just see what happens if we try to leave. Forgive me, but I cannot let you leave? What? Especially not after you rattled, ratted us out to Bernardo. My thighs are still pudding. I can hardly stand. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have to interrupt your game, but not tell Bernardo. Don't know how you found out about our gambling, but you must be some kind of sorceress. If I can learn about that, what other dirty secrets might I find if I spend long enough in the guard chambers? As I was saying, go right on ahead, my lady. The gates are open. Oh, okay. Whew. Hello, new zone. It's, uh... 
Othello? Who the hell is that? So it's a pretty small place. Just on the same map. But it is a new place. Villager, villager. Brigand. Ooh. Nasty boy. The fields, the stables. So Othello's in the stables? That way leads into the fields. I can see the hills roll for miles. Regardless, I have no interest in leaving town. Hmm, okay. This way leads to the stables. Nothing in there, but a lot of muck and mares. Ah, damn. So I can't really do anything here unless I have some particular reason to do something. But then why can't I go to... Oh, wait. Oh, I can go here. It's a very warm-looking place. You're the barkeep? Mm, not much I can say to you. Not surprisingly. Why would they care about most of the things? Um... Let's talk about Simona. Kind of a weird thing to mention to a stranger, but... Othello. Wait, the way Ophelia said that makes me think we know them? I guess we do. I have reason to believe Lady Simona is alive. Do you know anything about that name? Hmm. A Lady Simona? Can't say I do. Uh, there's an old hag by that name. Comes around every week on Sundays. Pious, quiet woman. Or pious? 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 She ought to be coming by this Sunday, in fact. Later in the day. But she's no lady. Couldn't imagine she'd be... She'd be the woman you're searching for. Hmm. This... Oh wait, they said this Sunday, didn't they? That's the last day. Right? Did they say Sunday? Didn't they? There's no event added here, though. I'm pretty sure they said Sunday. Othello, barkeep, teller of, ta of tall tales. The handsome and humble barkeep in Castletown. He spends most of his days telling stories of far-off lands and performing songs for all to hear. Let's just mention some other stuff. <laughs> Did you know Prince Hamlet and I were once in a relationship? The prince. I thought I'd heard every rumor in the country, but I suppose I was short one. Given your family resides at Elsinore, I imagine you had quite some time to make his acquaintance. Uh, tell me, was it a torch bursting to life or a slow burning flame? Hmm. You are forward, aren't you? Please. I prefer to call it honest, but please forgive me, some find that honesty rather coarse. And uh, let's just casually drop that Claudius killed King Hamlet. I'm unsurprised. Oh, snakes beget snakes. From what I've heard, the king's father was a ruinous man. He was savage on the battlefield, but I'm told even crueler as a king. He took anything he wanted, killed any who disobeyed, even family. I've served many a king in battle, but I could never serve one like these. Not for all the gold in the world. Mm, Alright, nothing more to talk about. Yeah, not much more to do here. Nothing more to do here, actually. Step look at the fireplace. Spar's fireplace has a pleasant feel to it. This is a perfect source of charcoal. Better collect some to give Horatio. Oh, I can... I can still do that? Huh. Oh. Petruchio. 
Um, that's the person on the stage. Are they performing or? Verona. For a while, I take my leave to see my friends in Padua. Padua. Oh, the play is just starting. Watch the performance? Sure. 